Herzlich willkommen. Today we're going to discuss top three cryptocurrency categories that I'm currently looking at. Because last time, a few weeks ago, I've done one and it's time to do an update at this stage. As currently, altcoins are doing well and altcoins will continue to do well. But there are still altcoins that are eager to do better than well and are continuing at this stage. So let's discuss those uh but before we're going to continue do not forget to subscribe beneath and also like this update if you do enjoy the content um as we are doing live streams twice a week and updates every day and also currently we're doing one interview per week and we're going to increase that to two interviews per week um so today the update is about three categories that i'm currently looking at and i think they are quite normal uh, and straightforward but still it's fine to discuss those so let's get to the charts and to the first one as the first category is dino coins and it's it's a common phrase right now that's being used on crypto twitter but dino coins are still coins that are around for ages so they are around since like 2014 2015 things like ethereum but also things like um xrp dash litecoin um neo um, quantum monero um, zcash all those relatively old coins that are currently um, important to look at given the fact that i've been making an update a few days ago in which we discussed the altcoin cycle and i've discussed the uh the chart from secrets of crypto who's really an og here um, in which you see that the money is going through the market and when bitcoin starts to consolidate which is literally the case right now ethereum starts to run heavily which is also the case right now and when ethereum is done with its run the large caps start to follow suit or at least the dino coin so there's two categories one is that we can see on the chart is that since ethereum started to run litecoin started to run as well so litecoin finally for the first time since two years starts its bull cycle does it mean that you have to look at the USDT values? We've discussed this yesterday. No, you're going to look at the Bitcoin values as you want to maximize your profits in Bitcoin. So in this case, we can see that we are flipping levels in a bullish manner. So we have flipped this entire gray zone for support, but next to that, we also flipped the 100 day and 200 day MA for support through which a new breakout happened on the Bitcoin pair. But you can see that we literally just started the Bitcoin side of the bull cycle on um, the Bitcoin pair. So what do we have to hold? We have to hold this entire region around 5,200 sets. If that holds, continuation is next. And you can see that we've got a next resistance zone. Then, you also have the um, like relatively old coins, old coins like Ethereum Classic, which is pretty much showing what Litecoin most likely is going to do as well. Ether, Ether Classic is one of the coins that is literally copy pasting the momentum on Ethereum in itself um, and starts to run heavily. You've also got coins like Bitcoin Cash, which is pretty much doing the exact same. You can see that we are flipping levels. So you also know that if you want to get interested around this zone is the area that you should become interested. So you see that those older coins are relatively doing well. And we've also seen Dogecoin, which is 6xing its previous all time high in 2017 and ran to 1200 sets, might be even higher. Um, and when dogecoin starts to move well you know that coins like stellar are eager to start following through as well so stellar is literally a category or in the category ex also with xrp that is very eager to start breaking out given this massive accumulation phase that we are in and you know that when an accumulation is about to end and we see the increased volume here expansion is likely going to happen and i would not be surprised if xlm goes to 3x from here and then you've got eos you've got um uh, uh Zetrix, zcash all those relatively old coins that are eager to follow suit as they all show the exact same chart second category i've been discussing this a lot previously is the oracle section and oracles are substantial and significant for the decentralized market to gather data if you want to continue improving this entire 
um, ecosystem because if everything is automated and decentralized you need oracles to gather data so i'm very bullish on oracles in general you know that i am very bullish on dia and there are more of those oracles at this stage and chainlink is following or at least showing the light for the entire oracle section as chainlink is currently showing a bull cycle so i've been discussing and covering this a lot um but the uh, entire region around 75,000 sets, that's pretty much an entry point. I think that once we take out 100k sets here, I think we're going to have an expansion and probably take out the all-time high on the Bitcoin pair for Chainlink and potentially even start accelerating even further. And there's also uh, a few other coins that I'm looking at right now and I see that my color has changed. So you've got DIA, you've got Band Protocol and you've got Kylin, which is also a smaller oracle at this stage. Right now you can see that the downtrend is still happening on Kylin. So what should you be looking at at this stage with this one? It's pretty much, um, you should be looking at flips, right? Um, you can use the 100 day and 200 day MA as well for um, instruments to look at potential support and resistances. Uh, to flip off the 100 day uh, and 200 day MA for support. But you can also look at the price construction in itself. So what we see here is that we've got this support, we've got this sort of order block that had to flip in order to become bullish. We see that we've got a rejection in these two wicks and we started to fall down, fall down even further. Right now, this is the critical level that we have to break. This is the order block. So what you want to see in order to get Kylin going, you want to see a breakout here and it starts to flip this level for support. If that happens, you get an inverse head and shoulders, blah, blah, blah. But it also starts flipping the moving averages here and then a new cycle starts if we if we reject here and we come back down you want to see the exact same happening here so that creates this final drop down creates a bullish divergence and possibly even um, increase the volume um, at a volume spike on the low might right now be the case already so I'm looking at those smaller oracles at this stage because I think that those will be the ones outperforming heavily. So Kylin is on the list, but also Dia, Bond, the entire oracle section. So um, the entire oracle section is something that I'm heavily looking at. And then finally, I'm starting to show interest again in the DeFi sector. And we know that Aave is finally heating up again after it, it has been crashing down significantly again since the 2021 run. So it, do, it, do, it has done this retest here and since then we are just consolidating. But there's more of those altcoins that are in the DeFi sector and not really showing strength yet. One of them is Ivy and Ivy is just a pretty decent project out there. Um, it is making this, these flips that are very important to watch. Next to that, we also know the 100 day and 200 day MA. Those are flipping right now. And then finally, since last year, we are going to get a new bull cycle on this one. And you can just copy paste the chart on Curve. You can copy paste it on IV2. You can copy paste it on Synthetix. Uh, many of the DeFi protocols out there are still showing the exact same chart in a Bitcoin pair. And that's why I'm expecting a new run to happen on the DeFi space relatively soon. Um, and that's why I'm looking at those significantly as well. And then the question is, are you still interested in Zilliqa, Swipe, etc.? Yes, I am. But in this, in, this, in this update, I'm showing the three categories that I'm heavily interested in. And actually, Swipe is also DeFi or swapping towards DeFi right now. Um, so you can classify it in that. Um, so I hope this update has been beneficial for you. I hope you liked it and I'll be back tomorrow with a new update and the live stream as well. So stay tuned.